the Group Technical Training Academy, the complete solution for your training needs. Technicians can learn from leading instructors on trends, issues, and technology. The Group's comprehensive training program will provide information that will sharpen your skills. Right, we're going to check the fuel pump on this particular truck. This truck has a little bit of a noise, a little hesitation off idle. So we're going to go, go ahead and we've hooked up a jumper and we're able to attach our low amp probe to the fuel pump fuse. We're going to start the vehicle up right now. All right, we just fired this truck up and we're looking at our pattern. Right now I've got a 20 milliseconds per division. And if you look at the pattern on it, it's a little bit noisy and we have an erratic. I'm going to turn this over to 50 millivolts per division. And at this point, if you look at the pattern, I don't really need to freeze it because every so often we have a jump up in the pattern. I would say this fuel pump's got a little bit of an issue. So what we would do right now, if you were doing this, we would freeze it. And you would want to look at the pattern. If notice we've got a regular hiccup in the pump. So at this point, might want to use my cursors and you would want to count out about eight bars on most of them. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every so often I've got a little spike up here. So the fuel pump on this particular vehicle is not, probably not long for this world. So again, that might be something we need to do with issue. But again, the reason we're bringing this up is you can check the fuel pump condition. I'm gonna go ahead and let it run. You can check the fuel pump condition Instead of doing fuel pressure, which you still should do, but you want to be able to look at the fuel pump condition and find this pump that might be giving you a problem. If we look at the amperage on here, we're seeing a drastic change in the amperage. Going back to 20 milliseconds. Now I'm in, AC, I'm in DC right now, so I'm going to turn this thing over and we're going to put AC coupling and see if we get a little bit different pattern. Still yet, we're noticing we've got that little bit of a jostle up here back up to 50 milliseconds and we've got a repeating difference in the pattern. I would say this pump needs to be replaced on this particular vehicle.